Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Martin, the ZimTech guy. In this video, we're going to talk about Econet launching the first 5G network in the country. Is it worth it? Here's everything you need to know. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit that thumbs up button. You know what to do. So let's get into it. I warmly welcome each and every one of you uh, today. Uh, to this very special occasion where we are launching Zimbabwe's first 5G network. The largest mobile network operator in Zimbabwe has just unveiled the first 5G network in the country, beating the second largest operator to it. For those who have no idea what 5G is, basically it's part of the fifth generation of networks or wireless cellular technology that allows fast data transfer speeds by utilizing a wider range of frequencies on the electromagnetic spectrum. So Econet launched its 5G networks in the capital of Harare at a glitzy event attended by high profile Zimbabweans and top artists including Japraiser, Janet Manyoa and many others. At the moment, Econet 5G is only available at Avondale shops in Harare with plans to roll out 22 base stations across the country by June 2022. Econet partnered the Swedish telecoms giant Ericsson to launch its 5G network. The telecoms company managed to reach peak speeds of between 1.6 to 3.16 gigabits per second in tests, although attendees did not get the live demo, but rather screenshots from a tech guy's computer. No joke. So this was the highest that we got, uh, 1.6. Oh, sorry. Just a second. So, okay. This one is actually quite unbelievable. Even when they showed me, I didn't believe it. Three point one gigahertz. Gigabits. <laughs> sorry, three. Three point. Oh, I'm used to the frequencies. Three point one gigabits per second. That was our. That was our highest. And uh, our latency was actually. Uh, zero milliseconds which is actually 5g this was more of a photoshop marketing ploy than reality to achieve a speed of 3.6 gigabits per second econet would have been using between 10 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz frequency of the spectrum but potras did not allocate that frequency to them well how do we know because what we are witnessing today is part of the implementation of that roadmap as part of that roadmap, the authority availed Spectrum for 5G trials to eligible operators and Econet was the first to respond and take up the resource. We congratulate Econet for pioneering our 5G journey here in Zimbabwe. Apart from availing Spectrum for trials, Potras is refarming the 3.4 to 3.6 uh, gigahertz band in order to clear it for uh, uh, to clear it of uh, the legacy systems currently occupying some portions and making it available for 5G deployment in the same vein lower spectrum bands such as 700 megahertz and 800 megahertz have been reformed and are being considered for award. Econet will most likely roll out the low band version of 5G, which is more economical and practical for the African market. But don't expect crazy speeds with this. This version of 5G is basically 4G on steroids. Customers can expect to reach peak speeds of up to 300 megabits per second. Although, in reality, don't expect those speeds. This is a no brainer, but well, you need a 5G capable device to be able to access this technology. Now, whether this development is going to reflect to the customers, we don't know. Because at the moment, you know how networks are, particularly Ethernet, it's already struggling with 3G and 4G. So how would they be able to handle 5G? If you think probably this will be a game changer, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, guys. See you in the next video.